the project mainly is involved with um, the building of a miniature button blanket. All of the materials that would have been used on a large blanket, with the exception of the buttons, they're actually not buttons because they're too big. The scale of them is too big to be doing a miniature on. Um, but everything else, the stitching that they're using and the way that they're applying the borders, the materials that they're using, it's all exactly the same as if it were standard size button blanket. And it's a traditional regalia that you'd wear for um, ceremonial purposes. The buttons that you would sew on, they keep the negative away. So it's a form of protection and your button blanket tells your story and your history. So it's pretty interesting. I'm just learning all about it. I was adopted. It's a quite a big step in my own journey. We wear our history on our back and all of that has is very tied to who we are as people in, on the Northwest Coast. I asked John to make sure you explain our symbols, what they mean to us. Like, I chose, I chose the raven, that's my mother's symbol. I could have chosen the wolf, and, which is my father's. The crest you use, you have to have permission for. So if you don't know, um, sort of the tree of life, a cedar tree is something that is sort of universal, and so you would start with that. Connecting with the traditional values and ways of being really helps my people to regain who they are, their, their identity. So for me, connecting with elders um, tied me to my roots, which is something I've been really looking forward to learning more about. There are blankets in my family that are over 100 years old. In 200 years, those blankets are still going to be here. We're not. Those are going to be heirlooms. They're going to be passed down from generation to generation.